you can keep uh, adding to your selection from where you're selecting just by clicking shift and the button uh, beside the Z button I'm not sure what it's called but uh, it's on the right side of the Z button and then uh, I try to move away the fingers a bit from uh, each other that way uh, the unfolder to has a uh, other view on how to unfold them it gets easier for it By signs the hand is not uh, really plain. Uh, this thumb is uh, it's uh, moving uh, it's in another direction than the fingers. That's why it's a bit hard to unfold it right um, in a 2D space. But uh, this result uh, look pretty good, I would say. As well here I thought uh, maybe it's probably better to have a straight edge there. And it's the same process at the legs and the arm. So we just keep doing what we were doing before. Uh, we want minimal uh, minimal sim so the best way is to merge together the either the outer part of the hand or the inner part first try to rescale it uh, correctly and then try to move it so I try to rotate it a bit and then merge some of the, the UVs and again, don't forget uh, not to choose uh, the most uh, outer UVs that uh, you're trying to merge because that will uh, end up merging some other part with it. This didn't really work since I didn't notice I had uh, um, extra vertex right there that was uh, straightened out and I got some weird results there. So I had to do it several times and it didn't really work. As you can see the cut is there. There is a seam. But I don't notice it until later. That's some troubleshooting right there. I tried to straighten out the 
edge of the hand. I thought maybe that would help a bit better and give me some better results, but as you can see, it will be time wasted. Sometimes it's just better to give in and then try to get some uh, perfect edge. Since uh, straight edge um, lead to distortions anyway, it's not always good to try to get uh, straight uh, edges.